you're seeing everyone talk about CeraVe and you want to know which products are suitable for you. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Razia. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of new uploads. I'm also on Instagram and TikTok. If you want, you can follow me over there as well for more content. So today we're going to be talking about the CeraVe cleansers because CeraVe is just all everyone is talking about. So it can be a little bit confusing to figure out which one is suitable for your skin type, especially if you are a little bit new to the whole skincare situation. And hopefully by the end of this video, you know exactly which CeraVe product to get for yourself. So the CeraVe cleansers, we have three options available. We have the CeraVe foaming cleanser, we have the CeraVe hydrating cleanser, and, and then we also have a third option, which is new to Australia. It just hit stores last week and that is the salicylic acid cleanser. I'm gonna talk about all three today and help you understand which one you should get for yourself. If you are in Australia, like me, the only place that sells CeraVe is Chemist Warehouse, and we don't actually have a full range available in Australia. CeraVe have a lot of products, but we only have access to a very limited amount, and you can find those at Chemist Warehouse. Personally, I have used the hydrating cleanser. This is just about empty. I've used this whole thing up. I've been using this one every day for the past few months and I've been really loving this one. I have dry skin, just to give you an idea of my skin type. I have dry acne prone skin, which is a mission all on its own, but anyway. This one has been really working well for me and my dry skin. We are in winter as well. The weather has been super, super dry. So on top of the dry skin that I already have, it is even more dry when it comes to winter because there's absolutely no moisture in the air. And I made the switch from a foaming cleanser to a hydrating cleanser. This is the one I chose and it's been working really well for me. It cleans the skin out really well. It didn't break me out at all. It cleans the skin well enough that I wasn't getting breakouts because my skin wasn't clean, if that makes sense. If you are someone that is acne prone or susceptible to breakouts and you're not cleansing, cleansing is one of the main things you can do to start to help to improve your skin. Cleansing every day makes sure that you're breaking down all of the dirt that's on your skin at the end of the day, getting rid of all the makeup, all the sweat, all the oil buildup and leaving your skin nice and clean. In terms of the ingredients and in terms of which skin type this hydrating cleanser is suitable for, it says on the packaging, normal to dry skin. And yes, I do agree with that. I think even if you have maybe an oily T-zone and dry everywhere else, I think this cleanser will still work for you. CeraVe cleansers are really, CeraVe products in general are really great because they're non-comedogenic, they're not irritating, they're made with people with skin sensitivities and skin issues in mind, and they're all fragrance free as well. And of course, CeraVe products are all made with ceramides included in the ingredients. So ceramides basically are already naturally occurring in your skin and skincare products with ceramides in, in them basically just helps to maintain that skin barrier and help to strengthen it. So it's really great that they do include ceramides in their skincare so you get the benefit of ceramides as well as cleansing your skin well. It also has a really nice creamy texture rather than being a foaming texture, which means it's not too stripping on the skin. Dry skin is usually um, the result of a compromised skin barrier, which means you have less protection on your skin. If you overly dry your skin, this can lead to a lot of irritation and redness on the skin. So making sure you use nice soothing products, nice moisturizing and hydrating skincare products in your routine. You're making sure you're not damaging your skin barrier any further. And that's why I think this cleanser is a really great option if you do have dry skin. Next, we have the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser. Now, this one, it does say on the packaging, normal to oily skin, and I think that gives you a really good indication of who this product is for. Now, again, this foaming cleanser does come with the CeraVe benefits, which means it is not comedogenic, it's fragrance-free, and it's also made with skin sensitivities in mind. What differs this cleanser from the hydrating cleanser is obviously the foaming aspect of it. If you do squeeze some of this into your palms and rub them together, this cleanser develops a nice lather, a nice foam. Surfactants in this foaming cleanser are different to the ones in the hydrating cleanser. They are more sudsy, they're a little bit more foamy, and this just gives them that little bit of a boost that you need when you do have oily skin. When you have oilier skin, you obviously do have a little bit more oil buildup on the skin that you want to wash off at the end of the day and using a cleanser that has that ability to cut through those oils and to cut through that excess sebum is exactly what you need. And that's why this cleanser is a great option for you. The ceramides in there, which is 
which is CeraVe's signature to include ceramides in all their skincare. This one also has some niacinamide in there as well. Niacinamide is a great vitamin. It's a great antioxidant to include in your skincare routine. Now, lastly, we have the salicylic acid cleanser that is the CeraVe salicylic acid smoothing cleanser. Now, this one has been out for a while but it is new to us here in Australia. I wasn't able to get my hands on it. I went to my local chemist warehouse, I think the first day that they announced it on Instagram and it was already gone. So, <laughs> but that's okay. I don't really think I need it, but I did want to, if it would have been great if I could purchase it just so I can demonstrate it to, to you guys for the sake of this video, but that's okay. We can still talk about it. Now this cleanser is great because it is formulated with 0.5% salicylic acid. Now, why would you want this in a cleanser? Using a cleanser with salicylic acid in there can help to give your skin that little bit of a boost that it needs to help fight that bumpy skin and to help fight that acne. Salicylic acid is a BHA and it is also an oil soluble acid, which means it is able to penetrate deep into the pores and it's able to unclog the pores from the inside, break down those oils, break down that excess sebum, which makes it a really great ingredient for helping to fight acne. And it's also suitable for you if you are prone to keratosis polaris, which is basically just small bumps on the surface of your skin. Because this cleanser is formulated with salicylic acid and it's good for skin that's prone to keratosis pilaris, you might actually benefit from using it on other areas of your body. If you don't suffer from keratosis pilaris on your face, you might get it on other areas of your body and using a cleanser with salicylic acid in there can help to break down those skin layers, to help break down the, the skin around the hair follicle, which is what leads to KP and that can lead to, and that can help to smooth the skin in those areas, in whatever area of your body that you do get KP skin. I hope that helps you understand the three different CeraVe cleansers that are available and helps you understand which one might be suitable for you. We have the foaming cleanser if you do have oilier skin, we have the hydrating cleanser if your skin is on the drier side, and we also have the salicylic acid cleanser if you suffer from KP or if you even have acne prone skin. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Please leave me a like down below, leave me a comment, let me know if you've tried any of these CeraVe cleansers for yourself. I am going to be talking about the CeraVe moisturizers next and you don't want to miss out on that one. So make sure you do subscribe and make sure you do hit the notification bell to be notified when that video goes live. And thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.